The young gray whale that washed ashore in East Souk Park over the Easter weekend is now, we learn, one of five which have died in local waters. Marine biologists say the whales may have all died of starvation. Now, the frequency of the deaths may be raising eyebrows, but marine biologists are not yet alarmed. A News reporter Astrid Braunschmidt has more. The dead gray whale which washed ashore in East Souk nearly two weeks ago is not the only one to have died from what appears to be starvation in nearby waters. In the past 10 days, five gray whales have died between B.C. and Washington State. The latest was spotted in waters near West Seattle. While the numbers are higher than normal in such a short period of time, this prominent marine biologist isn't worried yet. Well, it is part of the life cycle, but it's always sad to see them um, washed up on shore, or floating dead out in the sea. Malnutrition is the suspected cause of death in each case. Right now, gray whales are migrating from Mexico to Alaska. They don't typically feed until they get up north. If these animals have died because of malnutrition, that is almost what we would expect this time of year if there are some weaker animals or if food supplies have dwindled for any reason simply because they don't feed during the winter. Marine biologists say there are about 80 gray whales that spend the summers in BC waters. The rest just migrate through and may only be here for a couple of days. Determining whether the dead whales are migratory or resident could tell us a lot about the state of our oceans. The animals feed in the Arctic and these very productive waters in the Arctic and if conditions up there change and they're susceptible acceptable to, to change because of global warming, then, um, then the amount of food available to them can, can diminish and, uh, and that could have severe consequences for the population. It's impossible to know if that is the case right now, but scientists at the Vancouver Aquarium and here in Victoria are keeping an eye on the situation, hoping 2010 won't be like 1999 when more than 100 gray whales died on the west coast. What we need to determine is, is the frequency um, at an, uh, an unusual rate or is it just a rate that's consistent and what's unusual is the locations. To help keep track, you're asked to report anything unusual. If you see a dead gray whale, contact the BC Marine Mammal Response Network at 1-800-465-4336. In Victoria, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.